Before we get started, I want to give you an overview of what we're going to be talking about and learning in this section. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install Joomla via the cPanel. If you don't know how to install Joomla, there are several ways to install it. And I am going to walk you through the simplest way for you to do that. Next, we're going to install the quick to card component. This is the core component that we're using to create the site. It has all the features, the functionalities that we're going to need in order for us to create a buy and sell website so users can be able to log in, create an account, and sell their products on your site. Then next, we're going to be installing the Helix 3 framework. Now, this is one of my favorite frameworks to use to create custom websites with Joomla. And I'm going to explain everything, how it works, but pretty much a framework allows you to create websites so much faster. Think of a framework as a blueprint. You know, I'm not a, a home builder, but I know that if you want to build a house, you need some type of a framework for you to go off so you know where the windows are supposed to be, the doors, you know, and things like that. So the Helix framework is going to be the base that we're going to use in order to design and style the website. Then we're going to install the K2 component, which allows you to add products as well. Next, we're going to install Jam Social. It's a social networking extension that allows you to create a website similar to Facebook. I have a course that I go into extensive detail about this particular extension. So in this course, I'm not going to go into great detail about it. And then next, we're going to install Easy Social. Easy Social is another social extension for Joomla. It works similar to Jam Social and has a lot of great features with it that allows you to do the same thing. And then next, we're going to be using the SP page builder or the JSN page builder in order for us to customize each page the way that we want it to be. It's very simple, very basic. It's just drag and drop, and you're going to love it and see how easy and simple it is for you to create and customize your pages the way that you want it to be. And we're going to next create the site menus. You know, the site menus are very important because when people come on your website, they need to be told where to go and they need to find things easy and fast. So you don't want to complicate things. I'm going to show you how you can be able to create basic menus that shows people where they need to go, what they need to do, and how they can navigate the website. Because when people come on your website, if they don't find what they're looking for in the first few seconds, then they get frustrated and you can end up losing very valuable customers. And then next, we're going to create a template for the vendors on the front end. Now, as the store owner, you have access to both the back end and the front end of the website. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the back end for the admins, uh, for the vendors, for the site. So whenever someone creates an account and they log in, that is going to be their dashboard. It's going to be very simple, very clean, and very basic. And then we're going to do some practice exercises for you to practice. You know, I believe that the best way for you to learn or to master something is to practice. And like I said, practice makes perfect. So I'm going to give you a few things for you to practice on your own. It's very simple because I want to keep this as basic as possible but yet giving you a lot of great quality and content and then finally i'm going to give you my final thoughts on this section on what you should have learned and the key things that you need to focus on so if you're ready i'm ready let's get this party started 